Do he lower that? Because uh, Mendelman said, hey, she ain't going to she ain't gonna tolerate to being up like that. Can you lower it? Pull it back? She said she's leaving if you don't put this thing in there. No, well, you know one in the back right now. Tell about people. We got an uh, internationally known person speaking today, and then you know we got we got uh, short numbers. Isn't that something? And we had a packed out last time. You know, you never can tell. Well, we start our our, our 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 workshops off with a little reflection, something kind of something to meditate on. It's kind of like service in church. They open up with prayer, but this is kind of like our prayer, I guess. Okay. Everyone know what that means? What I'm talking about up there? Unsuccessful people want the juice but not the squeeze. Anyone know what that mean by that? Step five. Basically, people. Yeah. They want the goods but not the A different way, a whole new orientation in order to solve that problem, okay? So what we're going to be doing today, this is the day's agenda. We are now establishing a relationship with Dana Farber. Our last last weeks, our last time we met, uh, Dr. Christopher Lathan, who's a, a cancer researcher at Dana Farber, he spoke. Wasn't he great? He was fantastic. But the first thing he did when he got there, back to work on Monday is he he contacted the appropriate people to contact us to see how we can establish a relationship with Dana Farber. Because uh, what we do with our speakers, we ask them. To, we, we want to establish a relationship with our speakers. I mean, because these speakers are representing major, major corporations in the area, and we want to be grooming them for the possibility of jobs, because we do place young men in jobs. So uh, when Karen Burns White, when she arrives, she'll be here shortly. She'll be speaking a little bit more about how to get young men in the health fields. Any guys in here interested in the health fields? Any aspiring doctors or medical people? Raise your hand, Daryl, don't be shy. I've got one guy. Liz will be here at 1030, and we're going to talk about the, or uh, the oratory contest. Anybody know what the worst habit a person can have? Anyone? Oh, that's pretty good, but that's not it. But um, we'll talk about that later. Uh, these are some of the upcoming events that we're going to have. Uh, 25th, uh, September 25th, this coming Tuesday, I want to encourage everyone to come out uh, to Step It Out. Bob, will you be there? Stepping out, Saturday, this coming Tuesday, Lindenland. Get connected. Yeah, I'll be there. Get connected. Dolly will be there. Dolly always works the room. I'll be there working the room and so forth. We encourage young men to go come out. Stefan, you've been out there. Kyrie's want young men to come out to Stepping Out. We went out to the Blue Hills last Saturday, and we want to do it again on October 6th. Uh, anyone went with us last Saturday this year? Uh, no one uh, is here, but we had a great time, the short of it, okay? Hey, Candace, good to see you. Hi, Karen, good to see you. Uh, so, climbing the Blue Hills. Anyone interested in climbing the Blue Hills? Okay, we're going to talk further about that and have a little sign-up sheet so we'll know what we're going to do. We, we're going to meet here at uh, Reggie Lewis. Uh, <clears throat> this is going to be our next speaker, Judge Leslie Harris. He's at the Dorchester Court, and he's real, well known in the community, and he hates locking young men up, but sometimes he has to do it. He's going to talk to us about how to avoid being locked up, as well as some other issues that young men need to know. Uh, this is going to be a great speaker here, and this is one of the young, this, is, this, this man here, Robert Rivers, I met at Get Connected, because networking is really powerful, folks, I'm really telling you, networking is, is really, really great. And when we bring Robert here, we're really thinking about Eastern Bank allowing us, I mean, providing certain jobs for us. So that's what we want to do. So we want to not only personally to connect with, these, with, with, these, with our speakers, but also everyone else. Uh, Juliet Mayers, anyone know Juliet? Any room? Okay, Juliet will be speaking on November 17th, and she's an executive at Blue Cross and Blue Shields. She wanted me to promote her book, so I'm promoting it. So. She's an, also an author, and she just re recently wrote this book, Black Women's Guide to Networking, Advance Your Career, Grow Your Business. Um, so Juliet Mayer will be here on November 17th. So before we get started, I want to just introduce, we got any mentors in the house? We have 12 mentors. Uh, 
See people trickling in a little late. Can people see it with the lights on? It's okay? Okay, that's good. Come on in. How y'all doing today? Roy, take your hat off, partner. Uh, raise your hand who are mentors. Okay, we got three mentors today. We have 12 that's a part of our organization. And we've decided to have Mentor Appreciation Day. We haven't gotten the logistics down yet, but that's forthcoming. So we're going to bring all the mentors together, the group, and just kind of celebrate mentors and so forth and so on, and mentoring. Uh, these are the roles and expectations of mentors. We really want the mentors to be the people, like the greeters, the people who are the centerpiece of our organization. So we want the, gre the greeters to do the following, to be consistent in their attendance, spread the word about YMSS. All mentors are basically ambassadors of the organization. So they should be out promoting the organization and so forth. Building relationships in, with the young men and their families. So when, young, when people come in, our, men, our mentors should be greeting people and, and bringing people together and networking and so forth. I'm asking all mentors uh, to master a topic. So, the more, so we have 12 mentors and we have 12, top, 12 additional topics to our curriculum. You can see how great that would be. Uh, Victor did a great job a couple of months ago on budgeting and, and finances and some personal finances and budgeting. So that was, uh, we just want to duplicate that. I've asked Richard to do a presentation and he's thinking about that. And I will ask other people too. Of course, mentors are asked to, to, forth, to offer a donation when they can and so forth and so on. So I want people, so we have some new people in the house. So I wanted to talk a little bit about our, our organization. And this is basically our mission and vision. We're trying to change lives one at a time, okay? And what we are is a holistic. Everyone know what holistic means? Anyone? Who doesn't know what holistic means? Raise your hand. Holistic means the whole person, okay? You have people who focus on their physical being. You know, people are always working out, but they won't take care of their intellectual being. You have people who do, do intellectual, but they don't do anything around their spirit, their character, and so forth. We're about uh, investing in the whole person, okay? So holistic means the whole person, okay? And so these are the things that we are about as an organization. Personal empowerment, personal development. We are a life management program. All these young men that I see when I drive to wherever we go, wherever we meet on Saturday, I always see a whole lot of young men just in the community. And those young men should be in this, in this room right here so we can help them start making some great decisions for their lives. And good decisions are based on what? Good decisions are based on good information, am I right? All of us make decisions every day based on what? The information that we have available to us at the moment we're making a decision, am I right? Okay? So good information, better decisions. So this is what we're about. This is our holistic management chart. So these are the, these, all our workshops come under these six headings. And these are the headings, these are the areas of your life, am I right? Guys are veterans, Kyrie, Stefan, don't look at me like you just, you just, this is your first day, okay, please. So spirituality, which is the most important of this, of this cycle here, economics, social ties, health, intellectual, civic, civic service. This is what our lives are made of. So this is what we're, these are some of the themes that we're always talking about. Character is the foundation of happiness and success. Am I right, folks? Because no matter what you're doing, if you've got major character holes, and we all got holes in our character, if you're not trying to fill those character holes, sooner or later those holes are going to come around to bite you in the butt. Am I right? Sure. And we see that all the time we, we, in the community or even in the media. Somebody does something they shouldn't have been doing, boom, they're busted. Whatever they have, have, have attained at that point, they've lost it. Tiger Woods is a good example. Boom. Sooner or later he was doing something he shouldn't have been doing, it became known to everyone, and then you have it. Being proactive, making things happen. We always are talking about making things happen. I see what we see in our community and, and see in life in general is just people waiting on things to happen. They're just waiting on something good to happen instead of going out there making things happen. Process, planning, preparation, and patience are the, are the ingredients to progress. Pay now or pay later. Take care of business now. We're always talking about that. Personal growth comes when you struggle with yourself. Uh, this is for those that are interested in membership. Our membership is 120 per year, and these are some of the perks of membership. Um, we want every young man to have a success plan. So as you become, if one becomes a member and part of our mix, and then we get to know you and so forth over time, 
we will help you put together a success plan. Members become part of a professional network. Uh, they, we, we do uh, job placements over the summer. So if you're a member, you, you have uh, first dibs or pro uh, employment priority for membership. Here are some other perks of, the, of our, our membership. Members will be assigned leadership roles. Members can take place in, and this is very important, putting community service on a resume. A lot of young people don't know that, but if you want to put community service on your resume, because that really opens up uh, who you are when, you, when you're sitting across from an employee. So the rest is pretty self-explanatory. Here's a few more benefits. Uh, I'm going backwards. Uh, every time we meet, we have a uh, historical figure. I wanted to ask just the young people, who were here last time when we met? Anybody? Raise your hand who you, you were here last time. Eric was here. Roy was here. Stefan, you were with us. Alan, you were with us. Didn't we do a, a historic person? Who was the historic person that we, we, we did last time? Very good. Somebody remembered. Okay. So every time we meet, we try to introduce a new historic person to the crowd. So Tony Morris, who's a, a, a fantastic author and humanitarian. Uh, so this week, this is just for the young men, 18 and under. So I got $10. Anybody can tell me who this is. Yes. I can't hear you. Hey, here's two more mentors that just walked in. Yeah, 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 we heard it all. <laughs> uh, who did you say this was? Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass, okay, 10 bucks for you, okay? All right, give him a little applause. <laughs> and so, uh, Frederick Douglass, and Frederick is a, a good example of how uh, we didn't create the Afro, <laughs> okay? <laughs> this is a good example. When I always look at Frederick, I say, hey, brothers had the Afro way back in the day, okay? And so uh, this is my favorite picture of Frederick Douglass right here. And, it, and this reminded me, I wrote this, I'm mad as hell and I ain't going to take it anymore. Doesn't that picture remind you of that particular phrase? This brother is like in earnest. And I wish we could find more brothers and sisters in this day and age who are like that, in earnest. So that's Frederick Douglass. So each time we meet one.